What is going on you guys? John Boyce Girls here. Today we're back in the shop with the all aluminum and 3D print crawler. And yes, we have big updates. Here is the f the reveal. I just couldn't wait guys. I got the tires in finally. Yes, I got these uh, um, uh, unoriginal, let's call them that way, Traxxas uh, Trail Canyon tires. These are the same um, copy obviously of tires that you find on... Uh, most trucks is, uh, cr uh, crawlers like the TRX4 and TRX6 which come with these tires which are very nice if they were original but these feel very nice I mean they're not soft too much but they're they they feel just right so hopefully these do the trick now yes why didn't I get a Hyrex Proline Hyrex or the original version of these well if I went ahead and uh, but a set of these, the foam would go very bad quickly, so might as well just get the uh, just AliExpress fake ones, um, which I got for a decent price. I will link them below. And uh, Proline Hyrex, they're a bit out of budget for me. Plus, the big reason why I didn't get those is that uh, they're expensive, and I don't I don't use them too much. I don't use the uh, the rig too much, so it's not worth spending um that much money obviously in the uh, higher axis but uh for this rig so yeah just i don't want to spend money and you know not use the rig that much or i don't abuse them that much so that's why i went with these and these uh these are pretty good you know for their price so that's what i got and they look fabulous these rims look fabulous guys so what do you think very nice i can't wait to see what i'm gonna get for this I'm very undecided about the body. I'll just have to decide a bit later. Um, uh, but yep. So I'm gonna show you in this video how to mount a uh, 3D printed bead lock on a tire. So I know it's like an O shape, but the the setter pack them in tight and they will come out. You know, they will see that right. So I just want to like do the side by side difference of the temporary tires I had on here. These are the ones which I'm gonna ha have. But these are the ones that I had temporarily. These belong to the canyon. So, yeah, these tires are shot. And I hate, like, the look of them. So, those go away. This is... I'm going to um, bolt this on later on the rig. So, I, al I already mounted the two other ones. I'm not going to show you those yet. But they but they turned out good. So, yeah. Anyway, guys. I got some other stuff done behind camera. Um, I will show you some footage. Um... Of the gearbox, yes, I did get did get the gearbox in the mail. Finally, this gearbox is absolutely fantastic, guys. I love these gearboxes. They're very simple, all metal gear, and they're very tough. So, this is a SCX10 regular one, which you can find on eBay or Ali, and uh, I just like it. So, finally came in. I I already uh, screwed the motor to it. I uh, as you're seeing right now in the video. And uh, just went ahead and screwed it in with two screws because for some reason, as you can see, it's like tilted. Two screws matched up to the uh, skid plate, but the two the two other ones didn't match up. So I got it in with uh, two screws temporarily right now. So then, you know, when I have the time, you know, this thing is rigid like it's rigid. It's not going to come off, but uh, when I have the time, I will play with, you know, fitment and stuff. So... Yeah, I got that sorted. I'm just waiting for the shafts. When the drive shafts come in, this thing can go on the road. And uh, finally, I got my battery tray sorted. As you can see, it's very, very, very nice. And uh, what I did is I printed uh, two more of these cross members. One here, and uh, you can see it barely. There's one right there. And then I just got two screws and I screwed it here in the front one here and one there and this thing is rigid as well so yep super
this mod is going to really upgrade the performance of this rig because if you remember my other one my other axial scx10 the aluminum and carbon fiber version um has the better tray in the back which is good for space but for crawling you need a bit more uh, weight in the front so if it's, obviously you have a better grip in the front but i didn't do this mod to that because it is very complex the aluminum and carbon fiber chassis is a bit complex and i don't want to mess with the originality so what i'm gonna do for that um you will see it in a future video is make a a bit of uh weights in the front end stuff so yeah this thing looks absolutely fine guys now let's get to the good part of the video let's show you how to mount beadlocks okay guys so let's get to the assembly so this is how the rim this is the final product that comes out of the 3D printer, as you can see. Now, this is obviously not the... Uh, this stuff is going to not going to be in the rim, but this is all support. Because, as you can see, if I just demonstrate here, this is just support. You have, you have this outer ring which supports this part of the rim right here. Because if these supports this and this very big one, which is the support for the inner part of the rim this is a big one as you can see look at the final product it's so good right here and this is very detailed and stuff so this is a nice product if these two supports were not in the rim the filament when I, the printer is running it would come deformed when on this uh on this edge and then the tire won't mount in right plus the product is not good so this is a bit of explanation guys to all of you who may not be into 3d printing i'm a beginner yes but you know some simple simple stuff you you get to know along the way so that is the procedure of uh, printing supports for example i have this rim which is the uh, tire sleeve as you can see let's get a flathead screwdriver this inner part this was printed in this way right so in order for this part of the ring the inner ring comes out nice and not deformed the printer does this support which gets this part of the ring to look good yes i got a bit of a uh, still even though with the support yes it's a bit of def defective in the print that's a bit of print bug and uh, yeah, it may be a bit of a slight uh, misadjustment in the printing bed because let me tell you guys, if you own a 3D printer and especially like me, if you're you're a beginner, man, is it so boring to like to get it to proper level? Because if you don't have that that uh, part of the procedure done, the leveling, the, all of the prints don't come out good. So they might they might come out warped or uh, leave it even deformed. So yeah you have to uh, pay a bit of attention to that so let me explain how this rim works basically this is called a beadlock rim it's a uh, it's a design which is unique kind of let me put it that way so you have the rim right in a normal rim you would have the rim would look like this right and then the tire sits in here in a beadlock ring this ring has this leaf, which this is in the tire. Imagine there's the tire on here. And the tire sits here. You compress the tire. Then you have this outer ring, which screws in with four screws right here. And it's, this will hold the tire. This is how this is going to work. So first, let's start with getting the tire, which is right here. And installing this uh, sleeve ring in it. There you go just have to push it in the tire as you can see and I'm gonna try to get it in the center of the foam as you can see and this looks decent so this is the inner part which where the tire is going to compress then get the rim just put it through as you can see and it's already starting to look like a wheel then you just flip it and now if I just push from the other side as you can see there are the holes where you have to screw so one good tip is 
I found one of these uh, spring like vice or what you want to call these uh, this is like springs back and just it's like a G clamp but it's like spring loaded so what I, what this is going to help me with is holding the tire in as you can see so I can get the ring and uh, obviously start screwing all of these things in but first of all what I'm gonna do is number one I uh, put my screw allen key in my uh, power drill and I have this ring which is only going to be installing next and I have these four and three screws and I'm gonna thread these in and then get this position on the rim and just screw them in so this will facilitate the job All right guys, so got the screws threaded in. Next, gonna get the tire. Let me position you differently so you can see better. Sorry, it's hard to film like this in small areas, but I'm gonna try. Let me unload this back. First though, we have to position the ring and the tire like that. And you have to push this in and I'm gonna try to clamp it right there all right so also be careful that the rubber of the tire does not get in the way of the screw hole so just push it off to the side First, what I'm gonna do is start the the uh, thread. I'm not gonna thread all of the screws in one by one to the full thread. Alright guys, so I finally got all the screws in and we got this wheel good as well. So we have two other we have two other wheels for this side. So let's do the out with the old and in with the new sign. Alright guys, so she's all finished up majorly. Wow, these wheels look so so much better guys as you can see. Man, I just love the look of them. Woof! It looks so much better than these ones which I had on there. They're gonna look so good. Hopefully with the body that I'm gonna get. I'm still very undecided. I don't know honestly what I'm gonna get. But we'll see. But I think that these like match to all of the things that I have in mind. But that's why I did them. So yep. So hopefully like this updates that I got in this video guys. Hopefully the drive shafts come in not too long from now so i can get this thing on the road god i'm excited so finally we got the better tray sorted yes how do you what do you say about these new uh covers that i made for the uh, for the 3s lipos i know guys it they looked ugly before they had like that uh i wrapped them in in shipping foam so they don't get uh, beaten up but now i got these covers these uh, lipo cases i 3d printed these and i think they came out uh, they came out very nice at least they're better than the other ones you guys hated them yes i know you're right but <laughs> yeah you guys used to make me laugh because like i had i had a um, a commenter he commented like what's that c4 brick <laughs> that that's funny so i'm not saying there uh, i didn't like the comment i love the comment but it just made me made me love because that's right <laughs> it did look kind of like that so 
yeah i hope you guys like this uh, comment what do you think about uh, my 3d prints so far i'm new to this so i don't think i'm bad though so hope you like a uh, of my good work i did go ahead and uh, put these like uh, rod pieces so i can uh, support the uh, the shock up shock towers and stuff so i got some updates on this guys hopefully in next video we will see the dryer shafts in and possibly it's running but yeah, I think I'm gonna run the uh, RAM one that I have the, on the other one um, for now. I still, man, I'm very undecided on what I'm gonna get. I just don't know. But this thing looks very nice, guys. I didn't expect it to turn out this nice. I still, I still have some little things to tackle on, but uh, yeah, this thing looks fantastic, guys. What do you think about the wheels? Wheels look very nice. Man, I'm just liking this. Well, guys, we just have to wait. We have to wait. We have to wait. But uh, hope you like this video, guys. And as always, comment down below what you think about my builds. If you like, like, share, subscribe. And uh, join us on, on our social media linked in the description below. And uh, check out some stuff that might be linked in the description. And uh, leave a comment and like and share. Thanks a lot for watching this video, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.